what's up everybody welcome to prime energon and today we're going to be taking a look at the netflix stranger things crossover code red fantastic character these crossovers have been really really nice lately and here is code red he does come packaged in vehicle mode so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that comes in here and things like that and then we'll go into the transformation of this little guy he looks fantastic so first and foremost here is the packaging code red comes in a pizza box you get some details right here a little coupon free delivery transformers crossover stranger things up front on the side you get some netflix stuff right there on the back you get your content of code red in robot form and in his volkswagen form as well really really nice you get some nice code red over here on the side as well and some stuff at the bottom pineapple code red jalapeno so taking a look at the packaging it's everything just slides out very nicely and it is a pizza box you open it up you get some nice stranger things branding right there with some netflix and you get some grease stains which is as you can see right here you do get the clock you get a demogorgon and transformers insignia right there a lot of cool stuff in the grease of this box which is absolutely fantastic you get code red packaged in vehicle mode he's going to be right in here you get a lot of uh, wax paper that he's going to be wrapped in so that's pretty cool and you also get the glasses right here if you want to take those out take a look at the bottom you get your uh, instructions to transform code red he is pretty simple but you get your instructions and then you get a nice little paper and then at the bottom you get some crumbs which is really nice you get a pizza crust that is in there with some more grease so yeah packaging on this guy is just really really nice you get some more stranger things stuff at the bottom with that and yeah i really do love the packaging of this this is really cool um stranger things surfer board pizza looks really really nice so let's take a code red a look at code red himself so you get a lot of stuff that comes with this guy first and foremost you're going to get his accessories which is a flame uh blast effect right here made out of pretty good plastic it's not soft and you can post this on his gun which is really nice and then you also get a little pizza surfer boy pizza uh pizza box right here which is also pretty cool and this part that does come off of the top of the vehicle can store on here as well so if you wanted to store it you just store it right there and you get the normal surfer boy look so that's really nice but if you want to turn it into a gun you can just flick this open and have him wielding it and we'll show that in robot form as well so that's pretty cool and taking a look at accessories he does get a energon axe and an energon baton which look really really nice in this nice blue clear plastic with some black right here painted at the grips and you can put these together to create some sort of a, a staff which is really really nice so yeah a lot of accessories with this guy so taking a look at code red we're doing things a little bit differently here we're starting off in vehicle mode just because this is how he comes packaged in you get some nice detail pizza surfer boy delivered hot dog or hot to your door and some nice plastic i kind of wish all the windows were this blue plastic just so it could look a little bit more uniform because it does look out of place a little bit i wish they would start stop using uh, clear plastic and just paint everything this blue color and then take a look at the back right here you get some nice volkswagen uh logos right there this is a official officially licensed and that looks pretty good a little bit awkward uh panels back here on the back but really not a big deal going along on this side again with that surfer boy detail and the windows taking a look at the front very nicely done again volkswagen logo right there in the middle some nice blue headlights nice black trim with the lights and the bumper and you can see his head through that clear plastic Take a look how he looks from the top looks pretty clean in my opinion and like i said all of this is going to be uh painted plastic up here 
and then taking a look at the bottom again pretty nice clean transformation for this figure he looks really really nice some nice silver for the side view mirrors and all the wheels are pegged on so he does roll around really really nice this thing rolls around like a dream so yeah very very nice truck mode or van mode which looks really cool hopefully they can reuse this mold for a wheel jack in the near future but yeah really really nice i just don't like the uh two different color windows on here and uh, other than that it looks really good in vehicle mode so going on over to transformation really quick so pretty much you're going to want to snap open these side panels which will just pop open you can set those aside do this side snap that open and then you're going to want to raise the side windows up just like so you're going to come on over to the back and break apart the legs which are sort of locked in there you get these panels up top which will just come undone and these do snap onto this little hook right there when it comes down to that so that's pretty cool and then now you can break them apart and swing them down this whole piece will string swing down then you're going to want to rotate at the waist and now we got the bottom part of surfer boy pizza so we're going to come down to the legs and swing these around and they are on double joints so while you're swinging it around you're going to go ahead and swap them around just like that and there we go for this side swing that around bring it around and then now we could go ahead and take this panel and close it and this will be the front part of the legs you could take these panels and just snap them down just like that now coming on over to the arms all of these are on joints you're just pretty much going to slide these out and bring them apart like that you could take the wings and angle them back just to get things out of the way and now coming on over to the waist we're pretty much going to bring all this down bring up his head and all of this will sort of get tied into the front you get these pegs or these tabs on the front of the arm they're going to go right into that little slot right there on the side of the door and then at the bottom you get these two tabs they're going to go right in there i don't know if you guys could see that on the back of the backpack and that is kind of tricky to do since you have to sort of maneuver everything just right on here and then sort of peg everything together tap the front the bottom and then come on over to this side and just tab that in there just like so and then once you get everything nicely situated and tapped in there then you can come to the arms bring them down and then you're going to go ahead and knock open the fists just like so and then rotate the arm come on over to this side take the fist out and there we go for transformation for code red and i have to say he is pretty tall he's pretty tall for what he is he does have some long legs but that is a pretty simple transformation in my book and i think that looks pretty good right there so yeah transformation pretty simple let's take a look at the detail this head sculpt some nice visor goggles on there that's really cool there is no light piping on there but you get a nice silver head scope with a nice little receiver with a mic going on over right there and as you can see the goggles look really really good taking a look at the chest so it is not a faux chest this is actual car mode chest going on over to the arms some nicely detailed arms all of this is going to be a light gray plastic no paint but you get some nice detail, some knobs right there. Take a look at the side of the arm, some nice detail. And then going down to the legs again with this nice detail right here. And a little bit of hollowness on the back of the legs, which is kind of unfortunate. But you get some nice detail right here. Wheels are going to be off to the side. And then some blue right here for the actual feet. And then going on over to the backpack actually cleans up pretty nicely. You can't have these wings flayed out. Or you could just pull them all the way to the back just like that. And I think they look 
pretty cool. I like him flayed out. And yeah, he looks pretty good. A little bit long-legged, but he still looks pretty nice. So going on over articulation, the head is on a ball joint. Can't look all the way up that much and turn all the way around. The arms can go out and they're on a soft ratchet as well. So that's really nice. They feel nice and sturdy and they can go all the way around. And then you also get a little over 90 degree bicep bend and you also get bicep rotation. The wrists are on ball joints so they can turn around as well. You get some hollow spots right there. Legs can kick all the way forward and back that much because this piece gets in the way and he can do the splits. So that's really nice. You also get some rotation right here at the thigh and the legs are a little stiff as well. They're almost like on a one, two ratchet right there. They have two stopping points, which is a little strange, but they can bend at 90 degrees. And then you also get some nice ankle tilted right there. No toe tiltage or anything like that. They just go off to the side. So that's pretty nice. And you also get a waist rotation, but again, it is hindered by this back piece right here. And the wings can be splayed out however you want them as well. So going on over to his accessories, if we were to open this up, it's kind of hard to get your fingernail in there. You can have this posted in his hand if you want to do that and have that look, put the uh, blast effect on there. So you can have this as a gun if you want to do that, or you could post this on the side of his arm right here. You get this uh, tab right there that's just gonna go right into here and have this as an arm cannon. So that's pretty cool, you could do that as well. And the baton, you could either have it spread out and have one on each hand, which you could do like so. And give him this look, having his ax and his baton, which is really nice, and his shoulder cannon ready to go into battle. And I think he looks really cool like this as well. This is pretty cool. And if you want, you can go ahead and combine the uh, baton and the axe. You just slip one side into his hand and then slip the other side underneath. And you could have this look with the combined axe and baton, which is pretty cool. And having just having an axe, which is really, really nice. And as far as storage of these on these slots. So yeah, you could do that with the pizza box stored on the back. And there's not much in weapon storage when it comes down to this guy. You do get some tabs, I believe, on the baton and on the axe, which you can store. Let's see, do we have any store spots on the back? Not really when it comes down to storage. There's really no spots you could store these on. Maybe you could slap these on his shoulders and keep them stored like that. But other than that, there's really not much spaces you can. They do get these tabs on the side, which you can maybe store on things like that. But not much in the weapon storage for this guy, but that's all right. So as far as comparisons go, here is Code Red and another movie crossover. We got Frankentron over here, so very nicely done, a deluxe, and considered maybe a Voyager class Code Red. So really, really nice when it comes down to that. The Expanse X-Men crossover. Just taking a look on how big the X-Men one is, and the X-Men one is actually pretty cool. A pain in the ass to transform, I'll tell you that, but this gives you a size comparison. Pair him to Rise of the Beast Mirage. And as you can see, Mirage is a lot smaller than this guy. He is a pretty tall boy. This is Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. So yeah, scaling pretty nicely with Optimus Prime. He is a tall boy. He does have some long legs. Uh, pretty much the same length as Optimus Prime. So yeah, he looks pretty cool in my opinion. So as far as reverse transformation goes, let's go ahead and remove all of his weapons and things like that. Remove the pizza box. And first thing you're going to want to do is knock in the wrists, which are on these ball joints, and just go ahead and bring them in. 
just like that. You're going to want to break apart right here on the back and just rotate all of this stuff around. And this is on a joint that will just come down just like so. Bring the arms back, straighten them out just like that. And then you're going to want to swing them underneath. And the head will sort of just stay like so. Swing them underneath, you're going to get this tab on the forearm that's going to go right into one of those slots. Tab that in there, swing this underneath. Do the same thing on this side. Tab that in there. And then now you can bring down these side panels. And they will tab right in here. You get a tab that's going to go right into that notch. And just tab that into place. Come over here, do the same thing. Tab that into place. Now we could come to the legs, completely straighten them, and rotate at the waist. And then now we could go ahead and swing these up. And then swing these panels out. And sort of rotate all of this feet to where they come completely around just like so bring this around and then rotate until well first you got to do that <laughs> rotate completely around just like that and then keep these panels out for now then now you can combine you get a nice big peg right here that's going to go right into that slot and then bring everything down upon itself and just sort of snap this inward and then come to the back and just start bringing this panel in you're going to get this tab that's going to go right into here and hook right into that so that could be a little annoying to get into just get one side in and then get the other in and then close that shut and then now we can bring on the side panels snap that shut come over here snap that shut and there we go for code red we could go ahead and take off this blast effects fold in this piece and bring that in there this piece also does come out and extend if you want to do that and then now we could go ahead and post this right on top so there you go for code red and reverse transformation actually you do get these slots right here on the side so you could store the battle axe on that side flip it upside down maybe on that side and then you could bring the baton and store this on this side so yeah, you do get some storage of his weapons on here in vehicle mode, so that's quite nice. Now as far as everything else goes, not really a spot in here for his accessories when it comes down to that. But yeah, really nice transformation, pretty easy to transform, and yeah, really cool guy. So thank you guys for watching this video on the Stranger Things crossover Surfer Boy Code Red. Very, very nice figure. Definitely recommend it. And priced about $40. So I think that's not bad for this. Got this from Target. And uh, yeah, it came in early. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you next time here on Prime Energon. Peace.